Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Here's my hair. I don't know why I did that. Hello! <laughs> oh. She's been working very hard this week. I see. So. <laughs> I shouldn't even be streaming today. Honestly, I should be working. But I'm saying fuck it. Do we not need to walk you doing this? Well, we have to because... Oh, we're already here. Well, <laughs> and Thanksgiving is this week, so... I need this puzzle guard because I don't, I don't want a bunch of people here looking at our puzzle and trying to put pieces in. I'm, the, I'm not good at talking. I'm just going to myself in trouble. Anyway, <laughs> I said it. You didn't have to. Okay. Who's <laughs> the moon? As you can see, something terrible has happened. There's a hole. So that's the it. That's the puzzle. A star hit the moon. And made a hole. The star can't hit the moon. A meteor hit the moon and made a hole. Did you know there's a new star being made right now? Like the teles the JWST telescope picked up like a thing that shows like a new star being born. A new star? Yeah. It's so cool looking. Science, man. I can look it up. So did two stars get together and make a baby star? Actually, there was also a discovery the first time ever that we've seen matter come out of a black hole. It's never happened before. Does that mean the aliens are finally coming across? I mean, no. But... Well, what is matter? What do you mean, what is matter? You, you, you are... You said matter came across. Yeah, stuff came out of a black hole. Usually stuff only goes into a black hole. Okay, so they're coming back across. It basically changes our understanding of what a black hole is and what it does. Okay. Um, because we don't know. We don't actually know. There's True. a bajillion theories, right. but like, we could never possibly know. That's why you say theory. Because you don't know. You're just yeah, so making it assumptions. Right. Yeah, look at this picture. I want a puzzle of that. Oh, that is cool. So basically, so much like stuff is coming out that it's like forming the galaxy around itself. Cool. It's the Big Bang. We're it's watching. almost like good and evil lighting. <laughs> ah, yes. Morality in space. <laughs> well, it does. I like, mean, here's another picture. The light and the dark. Ooh, that's even cooler. It's so pretty. I want to move there. You want to move there? Sure, why not? Uh, Brand new, nobody's fucked it up yet. Uh, I just know she's just looking at my cardboard. Perfectly good dog back to me, by the <laughs> What are you doing, Sadie? They want to be close to me. They've missed me a lot this week. I feel so bad. She's been gone a lot. No, I haven't been gone. I've been right here. She's been gone. Like working. Right. I've been so, right in front of them, ignoring them. Which is I, probably I worse. made a mistake, and I thought I had a piece, and I didn't. Well, I was staring at this while we were waiting for Whoa. the timer to go down, and so, sorry. Um, I should probably turn my book off. Of the I slept in yesterday because I changed the wrong alarm, which I didn't realize till this morning when my alarm went off at 7 a.m. because I had changed the alarm for Saturday and not for the weekdays, because. <laughs> Because Wednesday night, oh god, my head, I don't know the days, but I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday night we ended up staying till, up till 2 a.m. working on stuff. So I set my alarm to go off at like 9 because we had a meeting at 10 a.m. Um, so I got up at like 9.30 Thursday morning. Yeah. She's like, you know, I got a solid seven hours of sleep. Uh, six hours of sleep. That's not bad though. Had a meeting. I had to get off that and then drive to the ranch for a meeting and dinner. Um, yeah, I drank a lot of coffee that day. A lot, a lot of, a lot of coffee? Drinks. I drank a five-shot espresso drink from Rocket Brothers. Before that, I had a energy drink, and before that, I had a coffee. And it was not enough. I was exhausted by the time I got home. <laughs> And it was also, it started snowing because we left at like 10 p.m. And you know how they're a little bit higher altitude yeah. than we are here? So it started snowing my way home. And I was just like, can you not? <laughs> just not. 
I'm too tired to deal with snow. Luckily, it didn't stick. Cause it's snow. But uh, I haven't been out there in years. It's... Well, since Corey was born. I mean, the first thing people did was complain about the Wi-Fi. I was like, you guys can shut the well, fuck up because, uh... well, not the people there, the people that we went with. You know, the whole IT department that we went with. Because it was the whole IT department. <laughs> I was like, if anybody complains about the Wi-Fi with what we're dealing with right now and the fact that three of us stayed up till 2 a.m., they can go fuck themselves. Because, like, <laughs> you know what? You're lucky. That's all that being a problem. Because we almost lost everything. Ooh. Several times. Wow. <sighs> anyway. Basically, it's been... Been a journey. It's been a day. A week. It's been a week. It's so crazy. I don't even know how it's Saturday. How did it was just Saturday? <laughs> and so as you can tell that uh, I was desperately trying to get words in at that meeting in between our meeting and dinner at the ranch because I wasn't able to write all day Wednesday oh. because we worked. So I went in for a normal day of work, and then I went home and I worked all night until 2 a.m. Well, I went home and I took like an hour-long nap. I did that yesterday, too. I came home and took like an hour-long nap and then worked again last night. Yeah, last night we took Corey to his first carnival. I know, I felt so bad that I didn't get to go. Yeah, he was excited. He was... He asked if you could go, so we asked, and and I was like, and I, I, I knew you were gonna say no. I just, well, but I would have. He was said standing yes right I there. <laughs> I guess he tried to Facetime you last week, oh, shit. and you didn't answer. <laughs> I told her to call me back the next day, and I totally forgot yeah. all about that. Oh my god, I'm the worst well, aunt in the world. The wor the worst problem thing was, you wouldn't answer. Well, and I wouldn't answer because I was asleep. So <laughs> he was so mad. I'm, I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I literally told Sam to call me back the next day and I forgot all about it because of all their stuff at work. See what kind of aunt you are. Really? You should just um, disown me because I don't deserve his attention <laughs> and respect. Yep. He's not going to. I know. He's too good. He was so cute yesterday though. Man, I wanted to go too. I, I halfway considered, like, can I do what I'm doing? I could have. I could have done what I was doing from my phone, but. Well, and I didn't really even get nice. to go look at any of the. There was a puzzle. Uh, they had, like, a silent auction, and there was a puzzle basket. And I was really wanting to look at the puzzle basket, but I never got to. So. Oh, well. Alas. Yeah. But yeah, he, oh my gosh. They had a bouncy house in there with the slide. Mm -hmm. So before he even got his shoes off, I was like, how many times? <laughs> Your sister kind of looked at me like, what? I was like, if you don't make him make a time, how many times, then we're never getting out of here. We will be here for the rest of our life. Because the kid loves to slide. Doesn't he have a slide? He grew up with a slide, but yeah, he has one at his house. That's what I'm saying. He has one. So like but driving oh. slides. Maybe we should we should get Jimmy to build like an insane like you know how like people build like roller coasters in their backyard. We should get him to build like a crazy <laughs> insane slide. I feel okay with that. No, he was. <laughs> oh God, he had so much fun yesterday. He got his hair painted red. His whole head painted red. I should have some new hair dye coming in today. Because I kind of want to change up my hair color again. Really? Didn't you just do it? I mean, I just re dyed the blue. Oh, there it is. This is it. That's it. Okay. That's and it. then That's it. that one is going to be. I saw this video. Uh, um, of a chick doing like like a red to orange to yellow to green like a like yeah. pale green like fall leaf colors I want that I want it in my hair right now <laughs> but I didn't have all the colors so I had to buy some darn it I had to buy some <laughs> Jay's so lucky that 
like actually to pay attention to what I was doing this week because there's so many times where I opened like a shopping tab. And I, was just <laughs> and I was like, you're lucky that I got busy and couldn't press buy because I would have spent all the money. Well, that's what I do whenever it's like a stressful week because I just end up spending money. Retail therapy. I have told your dad for years he is so lucky I am not a girly girl. Yeah, it's, it's expensive. Because it's very expensive. And he's like, huh? The more like, like, oh, you're so lucky. The more I'm like, maybe I should figure out like a style. Maybe I should be one of those girlies that has like a style. Because everybody's like, you're goth. So maybe I should start just buying goth oh, clothes. God. And living out my dream. But they're fucking expensive. But it, yeah. <laughs> they're so expensive. I, how? Oh, God. I, there's this whole site called Killstar that I would buy every single thing off their site. <laughs> but like. If they weren't so expensive. A pair of boots off that site is like $150. Oh my gosh. Like, it's it's good quality and it's worth it. And like, I have some of their stuff, but I only buy when they're on sale. But like, they're, like a blouse from them can be like $40. Oh my gosh. For a shirt, people. Yeah, but it's really good quality. Yeah, and but like, it better last there's, a lifetime. There's this leather vest that I want that has like all of the like cool stunning stuff all over it. And it's like, how much was that vest? It's like two hundred and fifty dollars, something like that, because it has all that hardware on it. And I just, I want it so bad, but I can't justify it. And it keeps selling out to me. Yeah. One day, then, one day I'll get the vest of my dreams and never be able to wear it anywhere because it's not really technically business <laughs> professional. But then I can't know because I sit in the trailer and nobody sees me. It's good to have goals, but I don't think anything that I like or would want to wear is actually business professional. So I end up somewhere in the middle. Yeah. And not business professional. I wasn't very good. I'll be honest. I wasn't very good at that either. It's just dumb, the whole, especially at women's clothes, because men's get men get get it off easy because they just oh, like yeah. they just have a button down and yeah. like like. I don't know what pants they have. What pants do they wear? I guess slacks. Yeah, just slacks. Know, but but slacks are easy. But they they just they're cheap too. Yeah. Like men's clothes is cheap. Yeah. If I buy slacks, like I have bought some before where I have like uh slacks. One, they're fucking thin as hell, so I'm freezing the whole time. <laughs> Two, they fall apart. No matter what you do, they are just they fall apart within like six months. Yeah. So they're not worth the money that you spent on them. They're fucking True. insanely expensive. Way more expensive than any pair of jeans I've ever bought. And it's just like that's such a waste. Like it's not worth it. It's not comfortable. It's not warm. It's not it doesn't last very long. Like what am I wasting my money on? Some pieces of cloth that nobody gives a shit about? No. <laughs> I'll just wear jeans every day. And that is Kelsey's rant for the day. <laughs> no, women, I agree with women's that. Women's fashion industry is like the biggest joke. Because they just don't give a shit and they still make a shit ton of money. Yeah. In the wrong industry. <laughs> Wait, me and one of the guys at work says it all the time. It's like, man, if we were just more terrible people, we could scam people out of money so easily. But no, we have to have morals. <laughs> God damn. Stupid parents. They're obviously doing it wrong. No. You're doing it right. Why do you have to work for your goddamn money sometimes? Always. <laughs> it's called, uh... But that's the true fallacy in it, right? Is people say the more work you put in, the more money you make. No. And that's so wrong. No. Because you could work... Satisfaction with work, not... Definitely not money, I'll tell you that right now. You're I don't, I don't know about this satisfaction shit either. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> I don't like it. I think the only real true, like, one-to-one -one ratio that I've ever seen is writing a book like it is a one-to-one -one ratio with how much effort you put into how much enjoyment you get out of it at the end because the more you put into it the better it's going to be and the more enjoyable it's going to be true i'm sure somebody somewhere felt that ratio but still for me that's how it feels <clears throat> it's so frustrating because i want to write this book so bad and like 
everything in the universe has come together to say fuck you you're not you're not winning <laughs> i've tried so hard this month i there was a day i wrote like almost four thousand words so i could catch up i didn't Dang. i didn't catch i got i got up back up to ten thousand behind four thousand words in a day yeah Wow. I didn't do anything else that day. That's impressive. Though. I'm also trying to keep my video editing up. I was going to record Wednesday night. Yeah. Next week's videos because, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yes. But then I had to work. And I was going to do it last night and I said, fuck, I don't want to. And I didn't. So that went. Stupid work getting in the way. Yeah, it's ruining my life. <laughs> JD was cracking me up. He's like, it's ridiculous you're asking to work so much. You deserve a raise. I think that's not how it works. Well, you go get a job and let me know how, yeah. it, how it really is. Yeah, I was like, I ask for a raise literally every day. Yeah. I annoyed the shit out of my management <laughs> team. Because I'm like, oh, well, he deserves a raise. Well, I deserve a raise for doing anything, ever. <laughs> because we do. We're, you do. Honestly, our pay compared to the average for our industry is real low. I'm the one that's like, we have to get this done. I'm sitting here talking and thinking that. <laughs> no, you're fine. I just I haven't. I haven't seen you all week. I haven't. Well, I mean, somebody keeps canceling our lunches. It's me. It's, I'm the problem. the problem. It's me. Mm -hmm. Because. You've done that like the last like three weeks. I know. Two weeks. weeks. Like all month actually. Two weeks. No. It's been two weeks. I think it's been like no. a year. It's I think actually. A year. I don't even believe you're here right now. <laughs> I think you're just a figment of my imagination. I finally <laughs> broke it. I'm insane. I'm now, it's been two weeks because I remember. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the only day I could get the tech people to come out to your grandpa's was on Thursday. I was like, seriously? She just got on to me. I, I honestly didn't even see your message until noon, so uh, it worked out. Oh, that's good. Unless you would have called me, I probably wouldn't have noticed it was me because I slept in and... Wait, I was you were at, out? I was at home. And I, it was, I meant to text you like, hey, on my way to the ranch, we can go to get lunch. And then I saw your message like, as I was getting ready, he was like, oh, never mind. That's good because it's noon and I just realized what time it was. <laughs> it sleeps good. Because yesterday I left at 4. I was going to leave at 4, but I left at 4.30 because I got distracted. And, um... Because I, I wanted to leave before 5. Because yeah. we were supposed to work at 6 yesterday. So I was like, then I need to leave at 4 so I can get home before 6. Because if I leave at 5, I'm not getting home by 6. I'm, like, settled and ready to work. Like, right. it's not happening. Um, and then I lost track of time. So I left at 4.30, got home at, like, 5-ish. And um, took a nap. Have a nap. I don't know how you do that. I try. It just doesn't I work. I have not done it in years. And it is much harder what? to get back up. Well, I used to do it all the time. I used to come home on my lunch break and take a nap. Like when I was a kid. Like a teenager. Wow. But like, I don't do it nearly as much. Now if I take a nap, it's going to be a few hours. It's not going to be an hour. <laughs> but... It helps whenever you have so much caffeine coursing through your system, you can only drift off for a few minutes at a time. True. I did it risky yesterday, though, because I was like, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to watch TikTok in bed or read a book or something and just, like, calm down for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but then I didn't. I closed my eyes without an alarm. But luckily, it was okay because Lily was annoyed that I was not having her. So. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Mm. I just needed one annoyed pit bull who needed attention. Yeah, I <laughs> I got in the car. What day was that? Monday? Sunday. Got in the car Sunday to go out to your grandpa's. And I thought, oh, I'll stop by Walmart because I had a few things to return. And I always like to bring out peanut butter and jelly or something. Because um, I never know what groceries he has. So, I jump in the car, get started, get to Walmart, and I'm trying to find my receipt to make the return, and I cannot find my receipt 
anywhere. What in the world? So I start looking for my purse to see if I have the actual receipt because I'm looking on my phone. I can't find my purse in my car. And like, well, I know I have it because I drove here. You can't drive without your keys. <laughs> I'm looking all over my car. I get out of my car. I look underneath the car. I probably look like a crazy woman trying to find my purse. Couldn't find it. So I get out and go to the passenger side to see if maybe it had fallen in between the seats. Your dad's keys were in the car. I didn't have my purse. <laughs> so the spare keys were in the car. And I was like, crap. And by this time, I'm exhausted. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, nope. I'm just calling him and telling him I can't. <laughs> so I just went back to bed. I went home went back to bed. <laughs> I couldn't believe I did that. So I kept thinking... How am I driving my car? And I hit the start button just to make sure my car would start. Like, how am I starting my car without my purse? That makes no sense. You done goofed. Have you ever done that, though? Gotten in your car? Yeah, I've gotten in a car before. Uh, <laughs> and it started and you didn't have your keys on you? I don't have a spare, well, I do have a spare key, but it's not, she doesn't keep the battery in it. Oh. So, like, what happens is, is the battery will die, so, what, so the, the pipeline of our keys, I have two keys for my car. Right. Judy's supposed to have one, and I have one. Right. Judy doesn't keep his on his thing, he keeps it in the house, and what happened is, like, I would use mine until the battery ran out, and then I would use his until the battery ran out, and then I would place both batteries. <laughs> And then I would use mine until the battery ran out, and then I would use his until the battery ran out. That's, that's kind of how it's been. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's a spare key in that it gives me a longer battery life because I use it after my deaths. So, I... I traded your dad his spare key for my original key because I dropped it too much. <laughs> so... I was like, oh, I can get his key in that way. Because, like, if he's, I mean, I guess he does drive my car without me, but, like. Your car? Yeah, and I guess he does use his key sometimes. But usually, if he's driving my car, I'm also there. Yeah. And my purse is also there. So that's the Oh, look, I didn't know. Well, okay, I kind of screwed Wait, up my name. Okay. Right. I, I kind of screwed up my moon nails because I did like this cool like pattern of like the different oh, like yeah. stuff, but then I put a green thing over the top and it kind of took over. I don't know. But I, I see what you're. I kind of regret doing the green over the top, but like I did like the, the like smooshiness. I did this while we were working yesterday because <laughs> it was so funny because like I got done and I was like, eh, good enough. Um, and he goes, man, this, because we were watching a loading screen, basically. He's like, this is watching paint dry. I was like, no, I did that. It was way more fun than this. Actually. <laughs> He's like, you mean <laughs> your nails are done before? I was like, yeah. And I did like, this is like, uh, three, four, five, six layers of nail polish. So, yeah. Yeah. This is taking me. Okay. Yes. The first thing Corey asked me on Wednesday was did you get the moon done? No. Yeah, that's another reason. If Corey's here and the moon puzzle not Oh. Then he'll want to sit down and do the moon puzzle. Did you see that he put a puzzle together? Yeah, I did. That was cute. He had so much. He kept taking pieces out and going, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! My puzzle! It's broken! <laughs> then he put him back in. I was like, good job. Get him on that timer, man. <laughs> Get our sleeper cell agent for Puzzle Nationals next year, you know? <laughs> yeah, I watched some of her stuff on that. Uh, what's her name? I watched some of it. I can't watch a whole lot of... Uh, 
whole lot of stuff right now because dad's off work. And it's not because, you know, it's just him. It's just because he doesn't like the same things I like, so. I don't torture him. I honestly can't remember the last time I watched the movie with Jim. Oh, really? We just hung around with Jim. It's funny because, like, there's been times where he's like, oh, you're watching it? I watch that. <laughs> okay. No, I get that because dad and I do that. He'll start watching something with me and then he'll watch the rest of it mm-hmm. and I'm like he does that shit. Uh, that's why I stopped watching stuff with him because he would he would okay. wait we we were watching that together well there was a time too whenever I was waiting to watch Critical Role because he started watching it with me and like he just that was gone continued so I just gave up waiting for him and I watched all of it Language on this woman. You fucking raised me, bro. Hey. No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Yeah? I didn't you, raise you like that. Where do that. you think I learned my language from? Okay, well, true. Uh, my parents. Yeah, they came from my parents. They cussed a lot when I was a kid. I did cuss a lot then. <laughs> Both of them. Yes. Yes, it was not just me. It was not just him. It was definitely both. It was both. I'll give you that. Although the best thing, like, you know, it was funny. I was we were talking about how, like, when as a parent you realize that your kid's an adult, and like, the my, I was talking to my director, my old boss. And, yeah. Like my old boss has really young kids. My director has kids who are, I think, about to be in college or in college now. Okay. And he's like, I don't think it ever happens. I'm still a kid. And I was like, <laughs> I think it depends on the parents. Like. I, I know there was definitely like an aha moment for my mom, but <laughs> I feel like there are some family members that it just never. Well, I mean, they always see you as a child. You I'm still kid. see your kids as children, but it's indifferent. I mean, you're always going to be constantly changing because you you're always going to be my baby that I had that you know that cute little girl that. Well, I also. What are you doing? I got it out of the way. It's not out of the way. It is if you're not a psychopath. Mm. Okay, anyway. But I think it also but... depends on my family, because I feel like with... I don't have a big family that I'm close to a bunch of people right. with, so there's not a bunch of them that are like, oh, you're a child, because they haven't seen me in 10 years. Right. So whenever they... If they ever see me again, they'll be like, oh, this is a completely different human being, because I am. Yeah. And so, like... And I don't think we were ever really treated as kids. We were treated as inconvenient objects in the room. In what? which we had to... By certain family members, yeah. In which they had to buy presents for, and then we were treated as, like, type they, we exited out of their life. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I'm not talking about all of the family members. Okay, I'm talking about me. I'm not. We were talking, talking about, about me. extended family. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I think when the reason I why, like, they're perceived as a, a child for so long is because they have a bunch of aunts and uncles and stuff, yeah. too. So, like, you kind of, like, fall, like... I know even whenever I'm with you guys, there's a certain role I fall into yeah. as, like, these are my parents, I am their child. Right. You know? So, like, I can imagine if you have, like, a big family with lots of things. As, like, the young kid, even yeah. if you're, like, 50, you know? Yeah. And that's what he was saying. He's like, I'm 50, I'm still treated as, like, <laughs> not responsible and a kid, you know? And yeah, like, and in some respects, you always will be because you're younger. Yeah. But in other respects, it's like, oh, cool. I, I think it's the coolest thing in the world to watch you grow up and become the people that you are yeah. and to see what you've become and what you make up your lives. It is very it's interesting, but I, I, no, I don't agree with everything that you've done or said or, you know, well, every no, decision you've made, part but of it, that's part of it. You growing up to, too is learning that your parents accept you without having to accept every single bit of you right like and that's okay you need to know every every i don't know maybe that's just me because i'm very infinite and don't need people in my life but. i think parents get caught up in the parenting it was funny because my old boss was like he was like I just, I know I'm going to mess up. It was like, every parent felt oh up. yeah you're going to traumatize your child you probably already have several hundred different ways yep <laughs> yep it's just the yep. amount and what you do you do about it later to make up for it. Like, well, I mean, just admit that 
you were not a perfect parent. Because think, there is no perfect parent. There's a, and there's a turning parent, uh, point for every kid, too, where they realize, oh, my parents are human beings. Right. Not, like, superheroes. And they went through their own stuff. Yeah, like, they've lived for fucking ever, and they did shit. Yep. 